Hello, and we are back with some more Satisfactory Update 6 Let's Play. Uh, today, we are redoing the Reinforced Iron Plate Factory. I've actually just finished it off camera. And, uh, we'll, like I said, we're going to see about doing a Crystal Oscillator Factory. Uh, hopefully being able to bust the Reinforced Iron Plates over to where I'm currently making my Quartz Crystal. Like I said, there is some copper nodes over there as well, so I can make cables. So we might be able to do a factory for that over there. Um, we'll kind of see how that works out, and we can bust those back over here via the train. All right, so here is the reinforced iron plate factory. I still need to add. I need to add some um, uh, support beams just to make that look better on the sides, because yeah. Um, so we're a little asymmetrical there, but that's all right. It's all right. All right, so we're going to come in here. So this is where all the iron is going to be turned into iron ingots. Let's go ahead and get that turned on. Boom. You already see the iron ingots flooding down the line. And those will come all the way down there and go on up. All right, so to get to the next floor go up this ladder or the staircase here and this is where iron plates are going to be being made now we need to turn on the power in here that helps so iron plates power on so these should all start producing there's the iron plates going down uh, it'll take a moment to fill this up, but so yeah, they come all the way around here. Uh, the iron is being split into two because we do need to send um, some up for the uh, uh, screws. So that's all going on there. We do have our little staircase up and over, which will let us come into this side or go on up to the next floor, which is where our screws are being made. So let's go ahead and get the screws turned on here. Our screws are being bust on this line. You can see this is where the uh, iron plates come up. They're there. It's like that's where they should be coming up. Uh, so our screws will be coming down this line see them there they go and they go up as well all right that'll bring us up to here and this is our assembler line where we are making the reinforced iron plates let's turn the power on here I do not have um, lights ran in this yet. I ran out of AI limiters, so I need to make some more of those. But this is where our reinforced iron plates are going to be going to. You can see them coming down the line now. Boom. Moving on in. So once everything kind of gets up and running, we will be producing 30 iron reinforced iron plates per minute. Uh, it's going to take us a moment to kind of fill the things down there. But once this is all fully up and running, We'll have 30 iron reinforced iron plates per minute. So there we go. Um, so we've got the little domed-ish roof going on. I thought about making another like dome up, dome up, but decided not to there. Um, I kind of wish we had glass versions of these, but it's all right. It's all right. It looks fine. So there is the reinforced iron plate, iron plate factory. Um, like I said, we're gonna try to work on, and I can put a get out of the way. There we go. Uh, a conveyor hole right through here, feed the line out and down to a train station, which, like I said, I'm hoping. I open the map here so I'm looking that direction we can feed out and around and over to our quartz factory is over here 
Uh, should be right about here, I think. And, uh, maybe it's over here. Anyway, regardless, we'll feed the, feed all that over to our quartz factory, turn those into, uh, crystal oscillators, and then train those back up over to here. Uh, maybe, I don't know, have a little storage bin for them or something like that over here. We'll see. All right, but there's the start. Like I said, this is our reinforced iron plate factory. It's kind of what we got going on here. Uh, Recipe-wise, I'm using the standard reinforced iron plates. Uh, the only non-standard recipe I'm using is the one for the screws. And that is the one that should be right down here. That uh, recipe I'm using is for the cast iron screws where they use the five iron plates. I said right now it doesn't look like it's being efficient, but that's because it's going to take a moment to uh, get all the iron filled up where it needs to be. Um, these will hit 100% uh, efficiency because I've got them on a manifold system right now, uh, but there are enough iron ingots being produced to fill uh, both of this. I sat down and calculated all that, and then that also gives me enough to take care of the reinforced iron plates upstairs so excellent well, when we come back hopefully we'll have something figured out for the uh, crystal oscillators all right i think we finally have our crystal oscillator factory ready to go uh, i picked up some hard drives and building the train uh, pathway that leads to the crystal oscillator factory and back um, so that's what i'm dropping off right now for some scanning Let's take you to what we got. All right, so we're pulling in our reinforced iron plates from our reinforced iron plates factory. A little spaghetti, but I'll figure that out later. I just wanted to get this going. All right, so we have our train station here. Uh, this side will be picking up the reinforced iron plates, and we will be unloading the uh, crystal oscillators into this when they come back. Uh, this is our truss, our uh, train station, and we are going to set up the. Uh, let's get out of the way first. Here we go. Let's set up the timetable for this train. All right. Goes here to the uh, pickup for this one, and it's going to end over here at this guy. Save changes, and let's turn on the name this guy the Rip Co Train for the uh, reinforced iron plates and crystal oscillators. Let's turn on the self driving. Hopefully, this isn't too much of an issue here because it's supposed to loop around. We'll see. Uh, so I drove the train here manually. It did not want to do that. We should be able to sit on top of this bad boy basically the entire trip. You can see the pathway we uh, took to do this. So we're loading up our reinforced iron plates. And this will have taken care of two of my um, objectives the crystal oscillator factory and then train for the crystal oscillators back to the main base let's go uh, this was a very very long train rack to set up I do want to add some pillars underneath these uh, just to make it so it's not just floaty I'm not really a fan of the floaty when I'm lazy sure but I want it to look nice so I'll deal with that much later once I know for sure this is gonna work not jittery I think I can, I think I can, I think I can.
Once this bad boy gets loaded up, that's going to be, well, the way back as we come to the Crystal Oscillator Factory is going to be rough. Oh, looking pretty good. See the, it's the red forest up there. Nice scenery coming over the water. Yes, we did get that hard drive. Got some uranium right here. We'll hit it here in a second. There's the radiation. Looking pretty good so far. See some slugs off in the distance. And one over there too, it looks like. In the rocks. One down there. One over there. Got that hard drive. So I'm pretty sure I did. That one I have not yet. Uh, but there's a lot of uranium over there, and I think that one also has all this the spiders. So, um, I did, by the way, over by the bauxite factory, um, where we need the, the heat sinks, I was able to get that because uh, this hard drive right here that I need eight turbos motors for had heat sinks um, as a lootable item. Sorry, I missed part of our trip. Coming down and around, that's the geyser over there. Picked up both those hard drives. This will be the bear. We'll see what happens here. We're going so fast. I'm gonna have to start braking. Ooh, buddy. Look at that. And we pull in to our station. Where we will drop off our reinforced iron plates and pick up any crystal oscillators, which there aren't any yet because I haven't switched on the power for here yet. Yeah, like way, because that will, I think, I, I don't know if it'll kill me or at least will damage me. And it drops it off. So let's check out this factory setup here. Got a nice all glass building here. All right, get in there. So let's get the power on to this bad boy. Cause again, I do have power switches in here. Uh, no lights as of yet. So this will be the start of our wire and cable. Copper goes in. Transform. This is not 100% efficient, by the way. Not even close. Right, we got our cable coming through, our wire coming through, being turned into cable, or it's being transported upstairs. We've got our manufacturers here, our reinforced iron plates come in off the train. We've got our uh, quartz crystal from our quartz factory, and then our cable coming up here. So now we can turn these on. Oh wait, we need to turn the power on. And we can start making our crystal oscillators. I might need to put some um, 
power shards into the cables pro probably because I'm needing what 14 and 14 so 28 a minute how many am I making I don't make it more than enough oh but I'm not making enough this these will need a power shard in each of them right making 45 a minute and 60 these need two each 60 these are producing 30 No, oh, now that's right. Okay. So that'll 100% efficiently use all that stuff. Well, at least I've got another slug over here I can turn into. A power shark. So we can put this in here. Alright, so now each one of these bad boys is producing 60 wire per minute, which is exactly what these things need, which will produce more than enough cable for upstairs. Again, rather be oversaturated. Because eventually they'll back up. Alright, and there we go. We're producing our crystal oscillators. Um, I still need to finish the roof line here. Those crystal oscillators go back over here to our train. Have we not made a crystal oscillator yet? Here we come. Was the train already there and picked stuff up? Did I miss that? Here they go. Ta da! We have more crystal oscillators coming. So, there we go. This is our crystal oscillator factory. Why are we. taking forever to make? What's up with that? see this real quick. It's just so slow. Holy crap. Let's go ahead and toss those in. And hopefully the train is coming back so that means it did make that trip successfully. Awesome. Not going to be picking up too many so we should have eight over here, right? Nine, eight. It's a lot. And we have a hard drive. Let's check it out. Bolted iron plates, coated iron plates, bio coal. I really don't want this because of the screws. Bio coal. That's everything compacted coal. Alright, let's go with the coated iron plate, I guess. Yeah, because I come back here to sulfur. Compacted coal, that's different. Okay. Let's go ahead and do the next hard drive and see what we can get. Our train should be coming back. Should see it come around any moment and we'll watch it pick up these crystal oscillators. Ooh, we got 10. There it is. Get around. Get around. So it's gonna flip off the edge. Let's watch it pick up these crystal oscillators. 
And when we come back, I don't know if we're going to do work on a computer factory or a radio control factory or we'll just do more hard drives. We do on the reinforced iron plates here. Okay, that will eventually fill up. All right, so we'll come back for some more hard drives. All right, next hard drive. What do you got for me? Ooh, encased industrial pipes. Heavy flexible plate. Pure iron aluminum ingots. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Dang, these are these are all really good. Um, man, that first go was kind of. Sketch, but like this, I feel like look at some pretty good stuff here. Maybe some, not so much this one. I mean, the encased irons, uh, industrial pipe could really change how I do that factory over there. And then the pure aluminum ingot. Dang. Like that's that's a tough call. Though we go from making six per minute to four per minute. I mean I would need the looks like I need the sloppy aluminum solution for this one. Let's grab the pure aluminum ingot. Hopefully we can get the sloppy alumina. Or, better yet, what would really be awesome at this point, if I'm going to be honest, would be getting the... a different uh, oscillator recipe. There's a one out here that I could really use with what I've got because uh, if I just set all this up for nothing, that'd be kind of lame. But um, yeah. And then the only other thing would be so the sloppy alumina, sloppy alumina. Sloppy aluminum would be great, and 
Maybe the Caterium computer or crystal computer? Or if that uh steel encased beam comes back or pipe comes back around, we'll might look that route. If I don't get one of the other ones I just mentioned. So we'll see what happens next. We got a uh, what, how many more hard drives after this one? Three? Three more hard drives? See what we can do. Next hard drive, what do we got? Steel coated plate. Radio, radio control system. So what does it currently need? Computers. There we switch out for circuit boards and rubber. I don't want the inventory slots. I really don't want the steel coated plates. So I guess the radio. I guess we're just going to go with it. We'll throw in the next hard drive. And we'll see where we go from here. Next hard drive, what do we got? Heavy oil residue, cheap silica, quick wire seder. I don't I'm not really feeling a whole lot of these. Yeah, I mean I mean, we're perfect here for cheap silica, but like, because we've got the limestone right next door, but I don't feel like it's just a good recipe in general. I mean, it saves the amount of quartz we're using, but I. I'm not in need at this point. And the heavy oil residue. I kind of feel. Because right now, we're doing the top one for polymer. Let's grab this, I guess. Start our next hard drive. Come on, give me some good stuff. Figured I'd, uh, well, I was waiting on a hard drive to finish up. Could do some hard drive hunting. Actually found some more stuff. I did only got one more hard drive. I found another one, but I'm going to need some turbo motors for it. Ugh. Oh, solid steel ingot. That's not too bad. That could really help. Um, back at my steel factory. Actually, would have been amazing way, way while ago. Um, but. I might be able to recuperate some of my um, uh, power shards. So let's grab this one. Uh, pure copper ingot's not too bad, but solid steel is definitely the better of the two. So we're up here, by the way, by the Red Forest. Um, the hard drive that needs the turbo motors 
is also surrounded by some uranium. It's over here. That one right there needs some turbo motors. I picked up um, the radio control units from here, though, so that was kind of nice. Uh, we do have a purple power slug. I think it's our first one. No, we do have it. So we can actually turn this into um, a bunch of power shards. Let's go ahead and do that to clear up some inventory real quick. Um, so we've got one blue power slug. Come on. Perfect. One yellow. And one purple. And we are back up to nine power shards. Look at that. All right, so we'll grab that. Um, so like I said, I'm just going to kind of keep uh, hard drive hunting, I think. Um, until I basically just can't find any more. i got to be careful because there are a bunch of spiders in this area. Um, I know there's a hard drive over here that needs turbo motors. That guy can go bye-bye. Um, and we still have to explore up here too. So, um, we'll see what we can, I don't know if I can go by by two. Um, we'll see what we can find. Come on, give me something good, hard drive. And... Huh. Well... I mean, I guess the pure iron ingot. I don't think I really have a need for that, though. It's a refinery. All right, let's see if our last hard drive gets us. Um, decided I'm not going to do more hard drive hunting. I found one more hard drive, uh, but I forgot that it's the one that it's also surrounded by uranium, like the other one I showed you was. It's nearby where I was at, but I also forgot it has like the giant spiders. And until I get the rifle, I'm really not wanting to deal with that just yet. So maybe you might. We might aim for the rifle next episode and go ahead and grab the, uh, I think we only need one of these unlocked to get this. So we can start making noblisks. I think a noblisk factor, I guess. We need to make noblisks. Ah, uh, to start bringing black powder over here, I guess. Unless I can start making steel over there. That's a lot to think about. a lot to think about all right um we'll see we'll, we'll figure that out so let's get this last hard drive uh research and then we'll i just go ahead and call the episode keep it a shorter episode what we had on we had nine extra tickets sitting around really uh is there anything in the shop because i've been buying stuff in the shop off camera i could wait for one more ticket get the billboard set um got all the wall stuff can't do the attach the last attachment until I get the uh, Mark III power pole architecture. I've got the industrial walkways, which I'm not as worried about. We've got all the foundations. Customizers, there's still a lot of stuff in here we could get. Because um, we have all the different things we could paint, um, which could be fun later. Um, equipment, I'm not as worried about. And same thing with parts. And then of course we got the, the the cart and the cyber wagon and then all the the trophies, but let's all right, we got our ten tickets. Let's grab the tenth ticket. Boom. And let's go ahead and grab what was it? The billboard. Holy crap, that thing's expensive to build. Holy cow.
Uh, let's just get it. Why not? All right, and we'll come back when the last hard drive's here. All right, what do we get? Yes, of these I'm choosing the insulated crystal oscillator. Ugh, I mean that they come out slower. Or no, they come out faster. But then it's rubber and AI limiters. Oof. Let's just grab it. And we'll figure out what we're doing with that later. Alright, so we'll go ahead and call this one here. Come over here. We got our crystal oscillator factory. We got a train taking the crystal oscillators back to the main base. So I think next we're gonna see about working on some of these things. Um, we could probably uh, make by hand what we need to do the 50 uh, radio control units. Um, at least get the aeronautical engineering going. So we'll aim for that next time. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, again, if you'd like to leave a like, comment, or if you're not already subscribed, that'd be great. And we'll see you next time.